A little privilege escalation in PowerShell. That's right, we're covering a fun little UAC bypass technique and a bunch more this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of Technolist, and I'm very excited because today we're talking about privilege escalation. It's all about getting higher access on a system than what's provided. Uh, you know, like, like if you log in as guest and then you can run stuff as administrator, which you're clearly not supposed to be able to do, but you know, that's kind of the whole idea, right? And UAC or user access control, that's the security method that Microsoft uses in modern versions of Windows to uh, say limit standard users from running admin tasks and things of that nature um, is pretty relaxed in most instances. I mean, typically you can bypass it just by clicking, yes, I do want to do this as admin. Put the onus on the user. Oh yeah. Or if you're a keystroke injection tool like the USB rubber ducky or the bash bunny, then just hit alt Y. Hooray. But you know, that said, it's pretty cool to learn that there are some Windows tasks that actually run without prompting for UAC to elevate their own privileges that can run as standard users and we're going to take advantage of that. Because recently I was checking out a post by Loki Ux uh, posted on the Hack5 forums of one such method using the silent cleanup component of the Windows disk cleanup tool and I think this is so cool. It's similar to a Windows 10 UAC bypass discovery by uh, some security researchers in 06, uh, or not 06, uh, 2016, Matt uh, Graber and Matt Nelson. So props to you guys, links in the description. This is a somewhat different take, but essentially, uh, let's check out the script because it's pretty cool. Uh, and I've got it right over here on my Linux box. Okay, so Loki Lux posts this script and essentially there's two parts to it. So you know, the top bit here is essentially going to run everything as administrator. And it's going to first do this by, you know, checking like, hey, do we have those elevated privileges? And if we do, whatever you put in here is going to run as that. Uh, but how? How? Well, it's because of what's going on down here. So all of this good stuff is what actually sets up the tack. And, and here's what it's doing. Basically, there's an environment variable called Winder, which is typically set to say C colon backslash Windows. You can, you know, find this on your system if you, oh gosh, where did they hide it now? There we go. And so these are your environment variables, and you'll see Winder is C colon backslash Windows. But of course, you could change it, and anything hard coded with C colon backslash Windows would break. So hence, there being environment variables. It's just like any other variable in a program except it works everywhere in Windows, which is kind of cool. And we're going to abuse that in a very crafty way here. So let's come back over and take a look at this payload. So what we're doing is this PowerShell set item property of this particular uh, H key current user environment variable for Winder and replacing the value with this bit of PowerShell here. And that PowerShell bypasses the execution policy in the hidden window and runs this command followed by a pound, which is kind of important. And after that registry entry is set, we essentially use the scheduled tasks to run what task? This particular silent cleanup task, uh, and then you know pipe the output to null. Uh, and then at the very end, it does a little cleanup of itself by removing that registry key that we just changed. But this part here is where it gets interesting because what happens is the silent cleanup task is actually going to run with elevated privileges, and it's going to try to run against uh, percent winder percent, which is our actual, you know, if we come back over to our Windows box, currently set to C colon backslash Windows, but is going to be changed to this bit of PowerShell here. So what will happen is in an elevated state, that Windows directory uh, has been replaced by the PowerShell, which uh, uses a couple of very simple parameters, tack EP for uh, the execution policy to bypass so that we can run the script and tack W for the Windows style uh, hidden in this case so we don't actually see it and then dollar sign PS command path which is actually just a reference to this particular script and then it ends with semicolon meaning the next command and then a pound which says hey basically ignore the rest of this because the rest of it is going to be a comment. So when it actually gets to the part where it tries to run uh, the, the actual cleanup, it's ignored because it thinks it's a comment. So this does mean that the script needs to reside on the disk to be run, but when it does run itself, it actually checks that if statement at the top, says, hey, am I running with higher 
privileges. And if it is, it'll execute whatever you put in there. So just as a task, let's um, let's make a directory in C colon backslash Windows, which shouldn't be allowed by a standard user. So if I open my UAC uh, .ps1 here, you'll see I have this exact script, except uh, I've added make directory C colon backslash Windows backslash UAC bypass. Now, if I try to run that here, I'm going to get an error saying like permission is denied because I don't have the uh, you know the permissions to do that. But if I go ahead and run this script with those same permissions, so that would just be dot slash uac dot ps1, and you'll see now. Now here's the bit. It's not perfect. It's going to ask me this. Uh, this could be finessed a little bit. Uh, but once I get out of this, if I do a um, dir c colon backslash windows backslash uac and then tab complete. It's there. I guess I should have shown you that it wasn't there before. Uh, here, let's remove it. So just as before, PowerShell, I'm going to go ahead and run that. And again, Alt-Y to go ahead and bypass that. RMDIR, C colon backslash Windows, backslash UAC, bypass, great. Now that's removed. If I try to run that, it's saying like, yo dog, that doesn't exist. Okay, cool. So again, we'll run our UAC bypass. Booyah. And now when we run that, there we go. I mean, it's an empty directory, right? But you know, you get the idea. Uh, it now exists. So there you go. And in just a moment, we're going to check in with our Hack5 Gear giveaway. But first, a word from our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now I have to say awesome contribution, Loki Ux. Check your Hack5 Forms inbox for the $100 Hack5 gift certificate. And if you would like to win some awesome Hack5 gear, all the good stuff you find over at hack5.org, then there's two bits of creativity I'd like to see this week. Now it's an either or, right? Uh, first, you could just post some awesome pics of your own Hack5 gear to social media with the hashtag Hack5. I love seeing our bits of kit being used in the wild. Otherwise, okay, I'd really love to see if someone wants to payloadify this. So I've linked to this forum post in the description below, as well as some of the other research related to this. And I would just love to see this put into action. So the first one to make a payload out of this, um, some freebies. This, this is typically the part where I like hold up whatever our newest bit of kit is. And, and in this case, it's the plunder bug. But all I have is my, you know, sample from development because I gave all of mine away. But I bought some more from my own store so I can give some more away. <laughs> oh man. Actually, here's here's one of the prototypes of uh, of the plunder bug. Yeah, and, and this is typically part of the development cycle is we do these in 3D printed plastics and so they come out white. And uh, this guy here is E old micro USB, and then we're like, yeah, now I gotta go, uh, gotta go USB C. Anyway, uh, that's probably way too much inside baseball. Um, but in any event, uh, yeah, UAC bypass, pretty cool privilege escalation. Would love to see what you guys do with this. Uh, I will be on the Hack5 forums as well as uh, the IRC and our newly created Discord, which you can get to by clicking community at the top of hack5.org. And with that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'll see you on the internet. Trust your techno rust.